So if you want to learn about lithium ion batteries and how you can build these for FPV drones and long range flights, pay attention because I'm about to show you as quickly as possible so that you can fly them for six, seven inch and larger drones. Although these small teeny ones up here are actually perfect for a five inch, which is a 4S1P. So this one here is an 18650 6S1P. It's a Molisel P28B 40 amp output with a 2.8 amp hour capacity. This one over here is a 21700 6S1P with Samsung 40T cells, 35 amps constant, 4 amp hours. And my favorite, this big fat honker over here is a 6S2P Molisel P45B 9 amp hours. The lar longest run I've gotten on this is about 12 miles round trip and I still had more juice in the pack. To get a better understanding, we're gonna use these basic batteries right here. You've got a positive side, you've got a negative side, and if you look at the voltage, it's only one and a half volts. The actual capacity does not matter. If you have one battery, you have a 1S, 1P. One in series, one in parallel. And the more that you put together from negative to positive, positive connects to that negative, to the positive, to the negative, that's going to increase the series count. So this would now be a four in series, one parallel. This is gonna multiply the voltage four times. So now we have a six volt battery. However, if we put them all in parallel, like so, now we have one in series, one and a half volts, but four in parallel. So it has four times the capacity. Likewise, we could always change that arrangement here. Now we have two in series and two in parallel. So now we have a three volt battery would double the capacity of just a single cell. Does this make sense? Now, if we look at these bad boys right here, this is a 6S1P and because of the clear plastic, we can see what's happening here. So we've got our positive side, we've got our negative side. You always wanna think about working from the negative towards the positive or the bottom up, okay? So we're gonna start with negative to positive and we're just gonna make this little S curve and that's gonna to connect to the next one and then it goes down and back around and then we're gonna to jump to the other side and then that in turn goes up and then here, back around and then out the very top to the positive side here. So we went from the negative all the way back out to the positive here. Now, if we're making a 6S2P, things are similar, but slightly different. Okay, so to visualize that here, we've got our double, AAA batteries down here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? You always make your parallel groups first, and then you solder everything or spot weld things together. So this would be a really long battery. It's probably not gonna fit on top of any drone. So how, what are we gonna do here? So we're gonna start by doing a 3S2P and we're going to connect these together and then we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna loop and go back the other direction. So negative side is over here. We're working our way towards our positive. We need to loop back. So here's the positive to this negative. This stacks on top and then these connect just as we've been practicing and learning thus far. Now, if you're still wondering how I'm connecting the two of these together via soldering and wiring, I'm gonna show you right now with these bigger batteries as an example, okay? What you should not do is solder the wire to the center on the positive and the center to the negative because when you go to put the two pieces together and solder, it's gonna be twice as thick because the wire is gonna be stacked on top of itself. Does that make sense? So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna offset the wire to the left side or it could be to the right, but pick one side on each, okay? So I solder one side here, I saw it on the other side here, and when you put the two pieces together, it's only gonna be as thick as one piece of wire. To visualize it further, this is how thick it would be. This is the right way versus something like this if you were to solder it on the exact same spot on both sides. And of course, you'll wanna leave yourself a little extra slack so you can solder both sides and then put them together, which is why you see these little loops on the outside right here. Last but not least, don't forget your balance leads. You always work from the first black lead all the way up to the red. The very first wire goes on the negative end of your battery, and then each subsequent wire after that goes on the top of each respective cell. So positive cell number one, positive cell number two, positive cell number three. Remember, you put them in order, yes, just like so. This would be the top of positive cell number one, top of positive cell number two, three, four, and so on. And that's it, lithium ion batteries. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.